What up, family? Get a news report of Mary Dad Swing and Mary the Lee. Today is so for Sunday in my city, Chicago, December 18th, 2022. Not too much longer for uh Christmas. Hey, you see my biggie 10 shirt. Bad boys and girls for life, right? Alright, let's talk about it. Um, today is the Hanukkah starts at sundown, you know, Jewish holiday. Um, and of course, you know, they try to beat us at everything, you know what I'm saying, Christmas and Kwanzaa and what is it, police, Navidad, whatever type stuff, whatever. Anyway, I don't know why the Jews or the Jewish people think that they could do wrong to us and we can't talk about it. Now, me being your ghetto news reporter, originated rap music since the age of eight. 1975, and me giving my um, child abuse rap to Oprah Winfrey at the age of 17 in 1984. You understand what I'm saying? And putting my voice to three cassette tapes, music, and the Martin Luther King speech in 1995 and giving it to her. What make the Jewish community feel as though they can rob me, you understand what I'm saying, of my child abuse rap? And then make a whole movie, The Color Purple, that has made billions of dollars. You know, when I was 18, the day being the 18th. You know, when I was 18 years old in 1985, you know, The Color Purple, Steven Spielberg came out, you know, with The Color Purple with Whoopi Goldberg and Oprah Winfrey. You understand what I'm saying? Inspired on a true story, my story. They have yet to pay me. But if I talk about the Jewish community, you know, people or anybody... You know, they get canceled. You know, Nick Cannon didn't even know what he was doing. He was just speaking, you know, um, in a roundabout way. He wasn't even, you know, you understand what I'm saying? If you say the slightest thing, boom, you know, they coming for you and stuff. I didn't know nothing about the Jewish stuff when I gave Oprah my um, child abuse rap at the age of 17 in 1984. You understand what I'm saying? See, this has nothing to do with so-called Jewish Holocaust, who out the band, which was only about 6 billion people allegedly. And I still believe it was us that got killed and they just took the credit for it and got paid. And I think a little bit, people, real talk. Every time a black person come up with something, whether good or bad, white people take over, right? And get the money and the credit, you know? But this time, I believe it's going to really come back to Harlem. And the reason why I say that, because I was in an AA meeting um, some years back and I flipped the dictionary and it landed on the Holocaust. Real talk. Now, if anybody has paid a hell of a cost, it's people of color. You understand what I'm saying? Such as myself. Mary Lee, you get a new support and originated rap music. You understand what I'm saying? People need to be accountable for their action and stop taking real people, you know, stories and turning it into a gimmick or a gold mine and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Because there are black, you know, Jews out there and Oprah herself interviewed a family. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So why is it so hard for the so-called Jewish people to, um, you know, acknowledge the fact that we have pain also and we have paid for your pain a hundred times over and stuff if you had any. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. You can't monopolize pain. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not just going to go away. And for my ex-girlfriend, Luana Joy Jacobs, who sacrificed me, but I'm not dead yet. She told me she met Oprah a long time ago. You understand what I'm saying? When her show was up and running. And for her to end up being my girlfriend, you know, Luanda Joy Jacobs, you know, it wasn't a mistake, okay? So everybody threw me on the bus. Resentment is the number one offender. I'm not finna play that game with y'all. If you think you got over, you got over. But, you know, just remember, hell is for real and stuff. And when the shit hit the fan, you know, it is what it is and stuff. You know, Luanda, you was with me when I heard Biggie for the first time, song um, Juicy. He was on King Drive in my car. And, you know, the song came on and I turned it up and everybody knows whatever I like usually flies off the shelf. You understand what I'm saying? And that's how Biggie came about. And not only that, Craig Mack put him on a remix, you know, flavor in your ear. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And that's how he really, you know, got noticed. He didn't get noticed from um, Puff Daddy. You understand what I'm saying? For real, for real. Craig Mack like Mary Mack. You know, real talk, because I am the originator of rap music. You can't change my legacy, no matter how hard you try. You can kill me, you're still going to catch hell and stuff. So, 
you know, like the color purple say, until you do right by me, everything you think of is going to fail. And if not, in my time, right after I die, and I guarantee it won't be long. I promise you. So, you know, in AA, you're supposed to make amends for harms done. Steven Spielberg, you know you're wrong. The person that's so-called running this trap building, I'm at 6210 South Kimball Avenue, Chicago, North 60637, which is supposed to be a government-funded program, you know, his name is Steven. You understand what I'm saying? Or Stefan or whatever. You know, he keeps switching up on me. But long story short, nothing happens in this world by mistake. Steven Spielberg, you need to, you know, make amends to me, if not, you know, the rest of my community. Because, you know, I have made your family buku boatloads of uh, money off of my story. You robbed me. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I may have presented it to Oprah and through the mail, but I I first did it at a mall, my child abuse rap, and I know it got around before Oprah knew anything about it, real talk, so I can't even really blame her and stuff, but she's so silly, she didn't got all in the mix and just don't realize they don't like her either, you understand what I'm saying, you need to be careful young lady, they don't like you no more than they like me, real talk, they trying to kill off the originals and stuff because we made too much money and they just don't want to pay us or uh, 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 admit that they are wrong, we won. We really did. It's nothing, nothing. There's nothing less to talk about. You can't even provoke me anymore. It's fucking comical. You understand what I'm saying? Especially when I break these walls and flip that Bible and prove my case. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what I'm about to do. So for our Jewish communities, you understand what I'm saying? You know damn well I didn't know nothing about no Hanukkah. At the age of 17, no Jewish. That wasn't my goddamn story to tell. My story was talking about child abuse. And how many babies did y'all sacrifice to keep y'all secret? That's the question. You understand what I'm saying? Planned Parenthood, Marker Sanger. You know what I'm saying? Nothing failed, but this white ball jumped over. You understand what I'm saying? For real. So what I'm going to do, I ain't finna do the, I ain't, because I ain't going to need no money, nigga. Quiet still. That's why I ain't never fall. But I'm going I'm to a, uh, I'm a do it again because if the first one don't get you, the second one will on my mom. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. That's how I usually work. You understand what I'm saying? My mama, you know, went through a whole lot to see me make it. And, you know, y'all shitted on me and my family and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know damn well, in 1995, I said I wanted my mother, Mary Lee Wright, and my foster mother to walk across your stage. Real talk. And they both were handicapped. And you shitted on my story. And you was worth a half a billion dollars. I mean, you really thought I was naive or um, stupid, dumb, or retarded or something. I don't know. I guess because you read the Bible and, you know, whatever. You knew big words when you was three years old. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You were better than me, but you're not. This the number 10. What number I got on my shirt? This the number one. You understand what I'm saying? And this the number two. You understand what I'm saying? You add it up, that's 13. Or coming from behind, 31. I got railroaded May 31st, 2008 for so-called disarming the police officer. Something I did not do at the Rogers Park neighborhood on Devon and Clark. Where I, after I done built up their whole community and, you know, made them flourish and all that and stuff. And now you go back to that same community, you know, they selling uh, crack pipes and drug paraphernalias. And, you know, people looking like they, you know, in dire need of you know, support, real so. And the 13 is, you know, Whoopi Goldberg, November 13, birthday, and my um, stepson, Mario Durrell Evans' birthday, November 13. Nothing happens in this world by mistake. The color purple going to always, you know, first one don't get you, the second one will. I don't speak this loud, like I said in 1995, about something I don't know. So, you know, you only fucking yourself around. You ain't fucking me around. All right, here we go. This is six, seven, and eight. And part of this is five. This is Amos chapter six. Now, everybody want to be famous, right? I got a dollar sign right here. Now, this is verse 14, chapter six. It says, um, but behold, I will raise up against you a nation, O house of Israel, saith the Lord, the God of hosts, and they shall afflict you from the entering of the 
he mapped until the river of the wilderness. Now, I was in the wilderness program, the vision quest, you know, wilderness program, the wagon train program, and the uh, group home part of the program. You understand what I'm saying? I became the first girl, you know, uh, head teamster of the program as a teenager and stuff. Real talk. Now, verse uh, 9 Chapter 6 says, and it shall come to pass if there remain 10, what shirt do I, what, what do I have on my shirt? 10 men in one house, they, that they shall die. Don't shit on me and say it's raining. Now, my birthday is May 67. I gave, I became the originator rap at the age of eight. Part of this is uh, five right here. So I'm going to flip the page right here. You understand what I'm saying? Chapter 5 on page 815. Famous chapter uh, 5. It says, Hear ye this word which I take up against you, even a lamentation, O house of Israel. The virgin of the Israel is fallen. She shall no more rise. She is forsaken upon her land. There is none to raise her up. Now, I would consider myself the Virgin Mary because I don't drink, drugs, smoke, or fornicate. You understand what I'm saying? Born May 25th, 1967. That is a choice for me to do the right thing. You understand what I'm saying? If you don't raise me up, God will, you know, lift me up back to where I come from. And that's heaven. You don't like, look, you can't serve two masters. Okay? Real talk. You're going to love one and hate the other. You understand what I'm saying? And the devil know the Bible better than me, so... I don't care if you don't like me. I'm not going to stop being me. The best. Remember that. So even though y'all stole my legacy, you know what I'm saying, and exploited me and my people, if they didn't want to stand up for themselves, that's their problem. But I'm going to always do the right thing for me and my higher power. And for those who sold me out, what they say, the uh, secret relationship between blacks and Jews, you are the original Jews. If not, you would not see that number 10. Right here and in the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? I don't speak this loud about something I don't know. I got confidence. You can't take that. You know what I'm saying? And y'all can't even speak as loud as I do. And you have um, all kind of things you have and stuff. You understand? All kind of luxuries and stuff. But as soon as you say something crazy, they take it all away from you. And that's what I didn't want them to do. And that's why I didn't care. You know, if y'all took everything to shit. As long as I keep my freedom of speech and my motherfucking goddamn common sense. Can't top it. You understand what I'm saying? See where this is going. So, ask the people at the AA meeting. Did not, you know, flip that dictionary to the word Holocaust. Oh, yeah, it's going to get worse before it get better and stuff. And guess what? You ain't going to get the answers from me. For real. Family, step your game up for the real Mary McAmyers. If you're not scared to talk to me and stuff, because, see, they don't even know me, right? So, why am I catching so much hell? If I'm a nobody, why, why everywhere I go, trouble follows me? Because you know I am that one, for real, that brought everybody together. And y'all turned my real story into a gimmick and people don't know how to react now. Because, you know, it's a house divided. And what will happen? It will eventually fall. With that, this show, Gavin Lewis, Porter Man, Dash 20, Mary Lee. Peace.